My god, it's so gassy here. I need to lay off the beans. Hey everybody, it's BC here. Welcome to another episode of the Planet Crafter. And I was just about to start recording here and there's a meteor shower happened and it just happened to notice a meteor hit my base here. Uh, I don't think it's done any damage and it just despawned. But uh, yeah, I've seen that happen a few times, I've never actually caught on camera. But as you can tell by the terraformation index in the top right, I have been busy. I did a little bit of resource gathering, I filled up the cabinets, went to back over to that area over there, grab some super alloy and some aluminum, and I also got just three blueprint chips on uh, while I was there. Uh, I did have a bit of an issue where I didn't make it back in time, and uh, because I had a full inventory, I had to actually yeah, find two, I, th I think, or even three chests to find all my stuff, but I do have it back, but let's go ahead and uh, unlock these chips. Uh, the same, or decode these chips, I should say. Uh, as far as unlocking stuff, there hasn't been too much that's been unlocked. Uh, next big one is going to be the Lake Water Collector at 50 million total. Uh, I did get, there was, uh, yeah, we do have the algae generator. Uh, apparently, it places this on the water, generates algae, so we can do that. And then there was the flower spreader. Now, uh, that's actually one of the things I want to get into today is uh, get some more grass growing uh, over in that area there and possibly even get that flower spreader going. Uh, so we, you know, pretty up the place, make it look a little, look a little nice. Uh, anyways, uh, to do that, too, I also do have to get uh, uh, more power. So I do have everything on, on me to make a tier 2 nuclear reactor. Uh, hopefully I don't blow myself up. We shall find out. Anyway, uh, go ahead and craft two rods. Two uranium rods. And then I gotta go over here and make explosive powder. Uh, there's also... Uh, I did a little bit of exploring too. I like that one better than the, the advanced crafter. I uh, did a little bit of exploring in, in that, that cave over there, and we're going to go head off there uh, once I place some stuff down. Alright, so I should have enough to build this. So let's go put this outside just in case, you know, something goes horribly wrong. Uh, let's see here. Right next to the heater sounds like a good place to put it. Cool. I can feel the radiation coming off of it. Alright, so let's see how the power situation is doing now. We should be really good. Cool. So now that means I can go ahead and make some grass spreaders. Let's uh, see how much water there is. Uh, also, too, one of the things I'm going to have to do for the flower spreader is grow an eggplant. Uh, that's actually one of the things I was going to do is I was going to build a couple more food growers and have them uh, set up doing one of it, everything. So let me do that and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I'm back. Also, I've got to decode code these blueprints, see what actually we get. Big living compartment. Ooh, we'll have to check that one out. And uh, jetpack tier 3. Cool. And... Oh, okay. I have everything unlocked then. Uh, we'll go put this in the corner here. For now, let's actually see what this tier 3 back jetpack is all about. Uh, let's see here. It's actually doable. Not that I actually need it. I think I have the tier 5 backpack. I do. And, uh, yeah, the big living compartment. Let's actually see. Oh, wow. That's going to be expensive, but we can afford it. I can always deconstruct it, too. So, let's see. Uh, two super alloy. Uh, what did I need? Uh, three titanium, three iron. Uh, oops. Titanium is over here, and iron. Alright, let's uh, see how big this thing is. Uh, hmm. Where should I attach this? Hmm. Uh, let me figure this out and bring it back. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place a small one here, because it will actually connect here. And then I'll join it off of here, because eventually I want to... Join all that together. Oh, nice. Doesn't have that pillar in the way. Hmm. Yeah, eventually I want to have a bridge over so it's uh, easier access to the bio lab, but 
Not bad, not bad. We'll deal with windows later on that. Alright, so now for the grass spreaders. Let's see here. Uh, let's see, do I have the aluminum? No, I need the aluminum, magnesium, and the seeds. Alright, uh, magnesium. I think you take that. Uh, aluminum, take that. Uh, as far as the growers here, I forgot to show you that. I set four up, I got uh, one for... Uh, one for each, basically. I can't wait what's in here. I'll get squash, beans, eggplant, and mushroom, I think. I think there's one more I don't have that I can place down later. But we'll get to that eventually. Before I go, I need these. Uh, I do have enough to get two more grass growers going for the time being, but first... Let's do this. Maybe I should do the flower spreader at the same time. Well, I need water for that. Let's go see how fast this thing is filling up. I I just, uh, just grabbed all this not too long ago. Alright, good enough. Let's get away from that noise. Go down here. A nice big lake going. I'll have to get that algae spreader out there, but I need that eggplant. Or, no, I need the eggplant for the flower spreader, actually. But I'm going to go and uh, get some grass spreaders out here, just because. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, not right there. Let's see, get a nice big field going. One there, and then we'll get another one here. It'd be nice if you could actually see the uh, the range of the ones nearby, so you can sort of try to. And, you know, overlapping a little bit, but not too much. I know it's going to start bringing up the oxygen up quite a bit. And I'll do one more over here. Are we ready to that? Yeah. Alright, now for the flower spitter. I need more water, I need fertilizer, and a buffer. Oh, it was the algae spitter that needed the eggplant and the bioplastic nuggets. Fortunately, I have a whole bunch of those, so I'll get everything ready and I'll bring you back. Well, there was my escape pod. And there was part of my platform I had my solar panels on, which still has some silicone on it. Uh, I was looking around to see if I could find some ice to make some water, and uh, yeah, it looks like uh, plants warmed up so much there's no ice around it. But uh, I'm just waiting for some more water to be produced, and then we'll get the flowers down, and we'll... Uh, the eggplant should be just about ready for the algae spreader, so we can get that out there, and then we'll, we'll go do a little bit of exploring, so I'll be right back. Correction, I won't be making the, the al uh, flower spreader anytime soon, I need fertilizer. Fertilizer needs algae, we need algae from, I believe, the algae spreaders. I don't see any other way to make it here. Uh, yeah, and two eggplant, and I actually need one eggplant to get that going. So, yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Well, not, at least not this episode. So, uh, that eggplant should be just about ready. That's the wrong way. Already getting lost. Big surprise there. Uh, let's see. Eggplant. Yes, you are done. Alright, so... Now I can go ahead and... Grab some bioplastic. And there we go. And let's go and get the out in the water and see what this does. Avoid fall damage. I like it too. The the, the jetpack actually responds to the water and not uh, not the actual terrain level. Cool. So I'm just going to place this right out in the water like so. And let's see. Do I actually collect from this? I have no idea. All right. Uh, let me grab a few supplies and we'll go for. Go explore that cave a little more. Okay, I'm on my way there. And I was just talking about the grass spreads here. I could have sworn they had a bigger range, but I guess it slowly spreads. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, my placement was off, but... Ah, that's fine. We'll deal with that later. Anyway, uh, let's head off to the cave here. Uh, I do have this shelter here, but I did bring some stuff to build another shelter. So what it was, was this cave over here opens up into that sulfury, cloudy area. I haven't explored to see if there's any other cave uh, openings around here, but I was over here, 
I thought I saw Osmium. And it was sort of looking around. No, I ended up winding up over there on the way back. And I haven't really explored too much. So maybe we'll take a quick peek around. See if there's anything else. I'm gonna make sure I don't get lost. Also knows too there's a lot of aluminum in here. Ever need a, ever need aluminum? I can come here. But I went over here and I saw these. And I knew it was in the right spot. So first we're gonna do is that and that. Go in here, rush on oxygen. I do have one bo water bottle on me. And I just ate, so I should be good. Alright, so let's go in. And there is sulfur and osmium galore in here. Well that is good. I don't know if I'm gonna find anything. Uh, it's the first time I've ever been in this cave, I just stepped in the front door to finish what I'm doing. And I didn't really actually go in, because I didn't know what to find. But anyways, there's a lot of stuff here, so I'm gonna gather some stuff. Ooh. Does this go to the other side? Oh, it does. Oh, this is the, the back of my base. Well, what do you know? That is good, so we're gonna have to get the heat up. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do some collecting and I'll be right back. Okay, well, it wasn't too much in there actually, but it looks good. That's all that it was. Maybe it's going to be more under the ice, but it said to do some exploring. This is actually really cool. I don't know if there's anything dangerous in here or not. I don't know if we can actually go up there. Ooh, another one. Too bad there's nothing I can research. That I need to research. I uh, don't really need anything, I'll probably just drink the water because it's there, take the aluminum because it's there, and let's go take another quick peek around. Got a feeling, and a given amount of time, none of this will actually be accessible. Ooh, I need that, take the fabric because I don't know how to make it, uranium, and you're good. Oh, I saw aluminum, gotta take that aluminum. Much as I want to go in there, I don't think that's going to be a good idea. And this should take me back to the same area. Yep. There's that. And then I have to go around here, around this corner. And it should take me back out to that area. And by the looks of it, that's that big giant ship that I was at earlier. It is! I can see my habitat. Ooh, what's up there? We'll take a little peek. Let me get to the, here, we try to get oxygen, we'll explore over the damp, the dune there. Well, I don't see too much, but there's something over there I want to quickly check out. Uh, fortunately, I have this tier, five, uh, tier 4 oxygen tank, so I can go super, super long without having to recharge. Oh, another satellite. And what do you have for me? Take the iridium. I don't want the iron. That stuff is everywhere. Super alloy. And that is it. What else we got around here? I think this just loops around back to my base. Ooh. Cool. No idea where I am. Just trying to get lost. And that ground looks a little weird. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go meet you back at the base, we'll go move on to something else. Okay, I'm back at the base, and I was just checking on the algae spread here, and also we got plants growing in the water now. Uh, it doesn't seem like I can actually gather anything, but I'm looking at it, and it's saying grow 70%, so... Maybe something I can harvest afterwards? Not 100% sure, but... Uh, I did do a little bit more exploring, looking around, didn't really find too much else. Um... So, yeah, other than that, uh, what I want, do want to do is I want to quickly check out this uh, resource, this ore extractor. This, uh, uh, where is it? This thing here. Since we have the power, we might as well use it to our advantage. Grab whatever water I have in here. And let's go ahead and see what we need for it. I love this side. I came all the way from that area over to here and I didn't even refill my oxygen once. Uh, what I do want to do is check the heat too. Because that uh, uh, 5 is when the cave starts melting. So I might want to get a few more heaters going. Uh, the tier 3 heater, but 
I need iridium rods for it. Let's see what we have. Iridium. I have iridium. Alright, uh, let me organize, organize some stuff. Okay, I'm back. I have enough to make uh, f th three, three tier three heaters. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Two. Oh, I thought I had enough. I was counting wrong. And one more for. Okay. Oh, fingers don't want to work. Hang on. Uh, I'll fix that eventually. All right. So I should have enough for. Three of those. Let's go melt down half the base over here. Because I can actually build this extra room for it. So we'll do one and two and three. Okay, now what do we need for drills? Maybe we'll start getting some drills going too. Iron, titanium, aluminum. So run down here. I like to use a jetpack, but I keep getting stuck in the ceiling. All right, uh, let's see. Aluminum. Five, six. Titanium. And was it iron? I believe so. Yes. All right, let me go place those. Okay, that is done. So things should be climbing up pretty fast. They actually look like they are. What I do want to do is see when we learn the seeds I have left, because I don't think I really need them for anything else except for the grass grower. So maybe I'll get a few more of those. Uh, what do I need for it? I need water, magnesium, aluminum. Oh, I'm out of aluminum again. Maybe. Uh, let's see what else I need. Got the water, magnesium. Wrong cabinet, magnesium. Getting lost here. Oh, wait, what do I need for the flower spider? good on that. Okay, I don't actually need to see the Lerma for that, so we'll run all the way back down here, hoping that I do actually have the Lerma seeds in my inventory. We'll find out. If not, I'll just have to make that tier 3 jetpack so I can fly faster. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I can't remember what I needed it for. I don't think it was too much. So, I actually looked at these. These are actually 100%, so... I'll go ahead and just place it right in the middle here. We'll get a nice strip of green grass going. And we will have a nice lawn for the summer. Okay, next is uh, going to need that. I need the two eggplant. Oh no, I need the algae. Which I believe comes from that. Let's go check on the algae. I know it was too. I don't know if it's underwater or over top, but I think that's. I think that's the algae in the water. Let's go check on this, see if there's anything to harvest here yet. Growth 100%. So what do you do? Do you do anything? Hmm. No idea how I'm supposed to get algae. Is it something I collect? Oh, hey, there we go. Aha! Figured that one out. Now, is that all there is? Is that all there's gonna be? I think so. Hmm. Let me look around and see if I can find any more. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna use my, the two eggplants that I have to actually make two more algae generators. To see if we can get more production. Not only is it producing oxygen, but it's producing biomass, and uh, we're actually getting. I need water? What? I thought I had enough water. Oh, I'll have to get one more. Uh, I was going to also too mention, mention too that the water level is actually slowly rising. Uh, the top roof of that was actually exposed. Anyway, uh, no more algae. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just had to uh, come back to the algae generator. I went to uh, pick up some more uh, iridium. And then also, there's a lot of algae kicking around. So, good. Awesome. So we have enough to make the fertilizer, which means we can start getting some pretty flowers going on our pretty lawn. Get all ready for the summer. Uh, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had one of those moments where I came, came in and I was looking for the eggplant I was going to use to make the fertilizer. I'm like, where's the eggplant? Where's the eggplant? I could have sworn I had two of them. And I'm looking around, I'm trying to grow. I was like, wait, I'm pretty sure I harvested them. 
power system. And it took me a minute to realize I made the algae generators out there. Anyway, uh, so what we're going to do while we're waiting is, because they're about 75% right now, so we're going to make the ore extractor. Uh, I do have everything on me. I do have to make one super alloy and an iridium rod. Now, I do have one aluminum, and then I believe it was one of everything. So one iron, one silicon, one magnesium, one cobalt, and one titanium. And we take one more aluminum. Run over here to Advanced Crafter, make one super alloy, and then I think, oh yeah, and then we gotta have just enough to make the Iridium Mud, and then just Titanium, and then we're good to go. So we'll go put this down and see what it does. And what I, first place, of course, I'm gonna put it is over in the, the Aluminum area, because that's the one thing that seems to be the most needed. I don't know if putting it inside this cave over here would yield iridium or not. Uh, certainly be a lot easier doing it that way than firing off a rocket every time we need it. Uh, it does seem to respawn in there, so that might not be an issue, but I'm actually curious to see how this thing works. So, we'll fly over here quickly. And see what we can find. I'm thinking too, for the next exploration run, we might have to go over that hill, because I've been over there, and I've sort of gone over that way. But I haven't actually gone over on this side here. So I think maybe the next episode we'll do a little exploring while everything is uh, terraforming. And look at that, we have water in here. Nice. That's not as dark. Ah, spoke too soon. Alright, so how does this work? Just go on top? No, it doesn't. This goes right there. Okay. What do you do? Ah, so I thought aluminum. Do those give me aluminum? I'm guessing if I go another area, if I go in uh, the 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 sulfur area, the sulfur. If I go to uh, that red dusty area, you know, give me iridium. That kind of deal. I'm guessing. But anyways, uh, I will meet you back at the base. So I've decided to run over here while we're waiting to see what kind of aluminum we got. Oh, we're getting everything. Oh, well, I was hoping I was going to get aluminum out of this. I guess not. Uh, tell me I should be getting aluminum, but apparently not. Uh, but that's why I came over here, was grab some aluminum, but apparently there's not. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back. Okay. I'm back. The whole reason why I was over there, uh, I wanted to get everything I needed to make the tier 3 bet tier three jetpack while I waited. Uh, but since the eggplant is done, we'll go ahead and get the flowers growing before I go ahead and get my uh, jetpack flying. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I'm going to do that and then replant that. And now, to make the fertilizer. I'm probably missing something I am. I'm missing sulfur. Yeah. I can't believe I actually remember that, and I never, never actually made the recipe before. I did make uh, cabinets for the sulfur and the osmium, so we do have storage for that. Don't know if there's going to be any other things we're going to be unlocking eventually. I know there's going to be... What is this? This is... Uh, methane cartridge. Anyway, we'll go ahead and make some fertilizer. Alright, now what do I need for this? Just need magnesium, and we are good to go. I'm actually glad I picked up two uh, super alloy too. I uh, learned a little lesson too. Uh, if you're gonna use the jetpack to break your fall, make sure it actually engages before you <laughs> hit the ground. I learned that the hard way. Uh, what was I doing here? Magnesium. Magnesium. All right, let's go get some flowers growing on a pretty little lawn over here. And by the way, if you look, our terraformation index is going up quite rapidly. I noticed the water level is definitely climbing. I don't know how high it's going to go. I'm definitely glad I moved my base, and thank you for everybody that had mentioned that. Uh, again, it was a complete over, overlook on my part, but here we go. So, now let's get some flowers going. Let's put it right in the middle here. So, we are doing flowers better. 
generate a lot of biomass. I got a, an achievement for that. So we'll let that go. We'll head back up here and we'll go ahead and make the, the, the tier 3 jetpack. Uh, I think I pretty much have everything unlocked that I can unlock with the blueprints. That's why I can't use them. But it uh, definitely means that once new things get released to the game, I'll be able to unlock them right away. I'm a pro at doing that. Hydration level low. What are you talking about? It's fine. Uh, oh yeah, jetpack. Uh, let's see here. Super alloy, super alloy, aluminum. What else did I need for this? I need two explosive powder and two osmium. Explosive powder. That was sulfur and magnesium. Iridium. Good thing I got that. Okay. So let's see. Uh, two, three, four sulfur. Uh, two iridium. Uh, let's also check the heat too. Wow, the heat just jumped right up. We'll have to go check out that cave in a minute here. Uh, I did put a light in there, so hopefully we'll be able to see a little bit better. All right, one, two, and then we run all the way back over here. Find out what else I needed for this thing. Uh, osmium. One, two. And we run all the way back over here. And take the jet pack off and tier three. All right, let's go test this bad boy out. Oh, I actually got to leave the planet. It's pretty fast. Seems to be about the same as the other one. Food level low. Uh oh. Uh oh. What may I do? I have no idea. Where's the flowers? Where's the flowers? Uh, oh. Oh. Where'd you go? What was that? A piece of dust. That might have been a piece of dust. Uh. Hmm. Do not know. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me check recording time, I'll be right back. Yeah, we're just about time. Anyway, let's head back up here and go check out that cave. See what's going on over there. Go up, 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 up. Yeah, I don't really notice any difference between the tier 2 and the tier 3 jetpack, to be honest. I don't think I'm supposed to. Beats walking, so I'm not complaining. Then I put a light down here, right? Didn't really do a whole lot, to be honest. Just gave off light. So this said start smelting at five dot five. Whatever that is. And it is definitely melting. I'm sure if I stood here long enough, you'd be able to time lapse it. And I think this will just take me into the cave down below. So with that, uh, I wouldn't mind getting some more miners down to get some more passive resource generation. Uh, we do need iridium, we do need osmium. Uh, gotta fire off more rocks to get more iridium, I think. Not unless I keep finding more in that cave. Uh, but until then, I think we're going to call this one here. I thank everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, so, uh, before I end this. Uh, gotta end on a high now, right? Hopefully we got some flowers, some pretty flowers to look at. Definitely have quite the terraformation and a very, very wet wonderland. That uh, actually came up quite a bit. Is there flowers? Or are flowers just not implemented in the game yet? I don't know. I keep seeing those red particles and keeping the flowers. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to call this one here. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.